In Ogo State, the government and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have marked the Democracy Day in Gangsta. The state governor, Dr. Abodu, at a ceremony held at the MKO Abiola International Stadium, Dr. Abekuta, granted clemency to six inmates and also freed 40 inmates while PDP staged a democracy war as well as free distribution of fuel to motorcyclists at the state capital. The free distribution of the fuel was sponsored by Oku Central Senatorial Candidate Ulumide Adirin Oku. Today, we have been to the family and the compound house of uh, Native MK Abiola to identify with the family. And one of the programs put together for today is the free fuel for Okada riders in the Central Senatorial District. This is just to assure our people that uh, the PDP uh, at the helm of affairs, uh, life will be more better for the people and that uh, we are calling on them to vote for PDP candidates across board. Governor Dr. was delivering his Democracy Day speech, said that he took the decision in the spirit of Democracy Day. I have approved the committer, the committer to life imprisonment of death sentences of six convicts. Furthermore, I have also approved the early release of 40 others. It is my hope that this symbolic gesture will make the beneficiaries turn a new leaf and have a fresh opportunity to contribute their quota to the development of our dear nation. Speaking on behalf of the student, the president of Progressive Student Movement, TSM, Best Man Okarafo, while commending President Bomo Dubari for declining the day, urged the government to sustain the celebration of democracy. It's important to salute His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari for the minute fit to declare June 12 of every year as Nigeria's official democracy day. Previously, it used to be May 29, and this we consider as a very uh, reasonable gesture on the part of His Excellency. Regardless of him being an outer man, he still didn't it fit to honor a Yoruba man, the person of late Olawale Kashima Wabiola, who was judged as the winner of the most fierce and fiercest election in the history of Nigeria. That was the June 12th election. And we believe the democracy of Nigeria should be sustained 